What's going on everybody? This is the Game Hunter channel. We are on another episode Class Royale and in this episode we're gonna try the dual Hawk Rider combo. We're gonna continue using my troll deck <laughs> but now I'm gonna show you the power of having Miro and the Hawk Rider. If you deploy the Hawk Rider and the Miro at, at the correct time Trust me, your opponent is going to hate you because those building, those towers are going to go down in two seconds. So I hope you guys are ready. Let's go to the arena. Let's go to the Royal Arena for bar number one. And I'm going to show you how to use the dual Hawk Rider combo. It works really, really well, but the idea is to use it at the correct time. Uh, this battle just started. We're going to start with some Britney Spears for the bottom left corner. and trying to get close to the Elixir Collector so we can start having a decent production decent economy valkyrie always trouble but if you move your barbarians with bernie spears together you shouldn't have any any issues let's see if we can do some damage to the tower in the top left corner i'm still waiting for my first elixir collector here comes the first elixir collector that's why i decided to deploy those goblins so i can start moving my economy because i really don't like to use this deck without having an economy rolling okay hog rider musketeer that's trouble let's deploy the inferno tower i was planning to use the mirror car in order to get a a copy of the elixir collector but but you need to improvise sometimes fellas sometimes you need to change uh, your strategy at the right time so inferno tower was able to help me to counter that Musketeer and Hog Rider combo. Eh, group of skeletons, that's not a problem. I'm trying to get rid of some more units so I can deploy the Elixir Collector one more time because economy is critical for this deck. So far, the battle is kind of tight. Yeah, actually, it's really, really close, right? 766 again against 774. And so far, we're doing fine. Got my little goblins doing some extra damage. Goblins, so reliable. So reliable. Hog Rider's coming this way. Let's put the Barbarians. Barbarians should be able to stop the Hog Rider without any problems. And I'm still, I haven't used the dual combo yet. The dual Hog Rider. I just want to use that one when the moment it's right. We're going to start pushing a little bit with the Barbarians. Hog Rider. And also, Britney Spear. But Britney Spear got completely destroyed by Zap. <laughs> But that's normal. Okay, we are kind of in trouble. Our tower in the bottom left corner is kind of weak at this point. But we already have three elixir collectors in position. Let's see if we can counter that musketeer. Probably with a group of goblins. Uh, poison is going to destroy my tower. Now we're in trouble. Let's see if we can do some damage to the tower in the top left side. Yes, absolutely. Barbarians, goblins, and hog rider were capable to stop my opponent we already have a really good production a lot a lot of elixir that's why my opponents say good game well played because now i can do whatever i want and here comes the combo the barbarians goblin Britney spears first hog rider and the second hog rider is going to join the battle right now and that is way too much for my opponent to counter look at this hog rider were capable to destroy that tower in two seconds victory sour and a few seconds to spare like i say when you play and use the hog rider combo probably is recommended to save it for the right time don't show that you're trying to do that at the beginning of the match otherwise your opponent is going to be ready to counter it let's go for another battle all right let's go and try one more time to use our dual hog rider combo that is working so 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 well with this troll deck all right what are we going to do first we got elixir collector which is a good card to start the match with this deck and also Miro. If we have Miro and also Elixir Collector, well, that's actually good. That's actually really good. You can have a really decent early economy going and that's gonna help you big time in the game. Here we go. Here comes the giant, but I have my Inferno Tower in position and waiting. Let's wait. There you go. Now we'll start using the Inferno Tower, Britney Spears, to protect ourselves. It's a decent combo between the Giant and the Witch. The Witch is trouble. So let's deploy the Barbarians to take care of her. And now we're going to start countering with Barbarians and the Ice Wizard. Maybe some Goblins from behind. So it's going to allow me to do some extra damage to that tower. There you go. How effective are the Goblins? It's, I don't know, it's invaluable. I, I love that car. It's another of my favorite cards in the game. Uh, Ice Wizard went down. Giant is coming with Musketeer. Inferno Tower in position one more time to counter the big tanks. 
Uh, Britney Spears going to probably join the party. So we can take care of the Musketeer. Musketeer is a really powerful card. You always need to pay attention. Musketeer can bring down your tower without any issues. So be careful. Be careful. Which is another powerful card, guys. So that's another card that we're going to try in a future episode. Because it's been getting improved in the last couple of patches of Clash Royale. Let's see. Ice Wizard can help me to support. And counter baby dragon and also the witch yes we are still alive somehow we're still alive britney spears goblins and the tower in the top right corner went down we just received the well play because that was a really fast combo and counter and now there is two options you can go to a defensive stand or you can be aggressive what we're gonna do in this one we're gonna do Dual Hog Rider to start doing some damage to the tower in the top left corner. What I'm trying to do with Dual Hog Rider now is to uh, have my opponent to start pulling his hair, basically, right? Because probably the tower in the bottom right corner is really, really vulnerable, and uh, my opponent can probably bring down that tower easily. But I'm trying to put some pressure in the left side, so that's that way my opponent is forced to deploy unit in that area, and that allows me to play around with combos like the dual hog rider, and I can try to sneak myself and destroy the enemy towers. That's exactly what we're gonna do. Hog rider number one, hog rider number two, and that tower in the top left corner is gonna go down. We're gonna one more time put some more pressure, and now against the king tower, the king tower is not gonna go down at this point. But my opponent is so so confused right now because I'm putting some pressure instead of defending myself and using the dual hog rider to control the match. Let's go for another battle. All right, let's go to the last battle of this episode. One more time, we're gonna try to deploy the dual hog rider combo. Their last minute at the right time and that is exactly what we're trying to learn with this combo trying to be precise right one strike strike hard uh as we said in the bottom left corner we had a valkyrie coming from the right that's not good i was planning to deploy some barbarians and start attacking from the right side but apparently that's gonna change it <laughs> because i don't like to sacrifice my barbarians against uh, Valkyrie. Wow, Valkyrie and Musketeers come from this area. Let's deploy the Goblins. Let's wait for the Valkyrie to stay away from the Musketeers so I can deploy really fast my Goblins and take care of the Musketeer. Okay, that was a really interesting first attack from my opponent. Here comes the Prince. Okay, that's an uh, interesting go Prince and Hog Rider together. That's why I have my Inferno Tower. Inferno Tower, that's why I decided to add this card to this deck because it's so, so, so effective against those kind of units. And with, with, between the Ice Wizard and Britney Spears, we can take care of the rest. Let's see if we can do some damage to the tower in the top left corner. We got the Hog Rider doing some damage with the Ice Wizard. That tower is going down. That's good. That's decent amount of damage. The Inferno Tower should help me to stop the Valkyrie or at least to distract the Valkyrie for a few seconds, right? How important is the Inferno Tower? How important that Valkyrie didn't do much. Didn't do, didn't do a thing against my base. One more time and I kind of kind of see that this is the pattern that this player is doing. He's trying to use Hog Rider and Prince together, which is it's difficult to stop. But again, they got my Inferno Tower. I deployed Inferno Tower once. The Hog Rider started attacking my tower, the Arena Tower. The reason is because uh, is if I deployed the Inferno Tower before, um, it's going to go down in two seconds. It's going to go down in two seconds. So that's why I decided to deploy a little bit later. So it's going to receive just the damage of the Prince, not with the Hog Rider. Ooh, Fireball is getting really painful. Really, really painful. Hog Rider is attacking with Barbarian. Let's see if we can do some more damage to that tower so far. So good, but both of my towers are not that great. They both have some tons of damage on it. Let's see if we can put some goblins in there to stop the prince with the Inferno Tower. Barbarians also giving me some support, and this is a perfect time for me to deploy my combo. Here comes the Hog Rider, and here comes Hog Rider number two. Super difficult to stop. That tower is going to go down no matter what. I got two Hog Riders pushing together, and right now my opponent is completely... It has to go in defensive mode because two Hog Riders attacking the King Tower, they can destroy that base without any issues. Now with all the economy that I have, look at the big amount of troops that I have on the right side. We were able to destroy that tower without problem with Barbarians, Goblins, Britney Spears, and also Miro Britney Spears. And that tower in the top right corner is going to go down. It's a three-star victory. We deploy the Hog Rider combo at the right time and that 
actually change the fate of this match. Fellas, this is the Game Hunter. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Clash Royale. I will see you in the next one. Take care, everybody.